Okay, this is the taping method for decor veins. It's for kinesio taping. It's not only a taping method for decor veins, but it's also some tricks and tips on how to keep the tape on a little bit longer than most. Okay, so first I get all these odds and ends set up and we'll be able to use them later. The Corvain's taping, it could be used in combination with other treatment methods such as uh, splinting or ultrasound or even after a cortisone shot. So I start measuring the tape from just proximal to the IP joint to about two-thirds up the forearm. Okay, and then I taper one end because the thumb is a little bit thinner. All the edges have to be round because if they are square, they will get caught and fall off faster. So one tape is on the longitudinal side along the thumb extensor muscles and the other is circumferentially around the wrist. So again, rounded edges, rounded edges, rounded edges. Another trick that I use to help the tape stay on longer is to clean the skin. So before I tape, the patient goes into the clinic to wash to the bathroom to wash their hands, but I also use an alcohol prep pad to clean all the oils off the skin. So you pull it apart, anchor it here at the thumb, tell them to extend the thumb as far as they can, try to avoid touching the tape in any way, and pull the tape out over along the thumb extensor group and then lay the tape down flat. Okay, so after that is done, you take these little pieces to tape down the distal and the proximal end of the tape. So those two thin ones for the distal end, this one for the proximal end, and then where the pain is, you add 100% pull over the radial wrist, where the patient tells you hurts the most. The rounded edges are laid down flat, and you overlap. And this taping method would stay on for me for about four days.